Hello everybody and welcome to Mark Gutzler Man Gutzler. I am your host Mark and today I just want to talk. We're not going to read any scriptures today uh, because I'm putting together some talk for next week on uh, forgiving. That's a very big topic and a friend of mine kind of put me on to it um, about forgiving those who have hurt you and just letting it go and the ways that it can help you and what the Bible says about it. But today, I figured we could just uh, we could just talk, see how everyone was doing this past weekend, see how everyone was doing um, these past hot days. It's very hot. I'm in a car. I'm outside of a friend's house um, before I go in to see him, so I wanted to just talk for a little bit, so that's what I'm doing today. And my week, I'll tell you a little bit about my week. It went good. I went to... I actually went to visit a friend that lives uh, so many miles away this this past weekend, and it was a nice, it was a very nice uh, visit. We did a lot of uh, talking about Jesus and His Word, and we did a lot of video gaming. We're we're big gamers, so when we get together, we game. But you know, we talked about Jesus, and and he's he's actually the one that brought me on to talking about forgiving, and I'll be doing that next week. So. Um, just some of the things that I've been noticing about, uh, you know, like I, I can feel that I can, I can start to feel that possibly me talking and making these videos are starting to have some impact because I can feel some resistance. And what I mean by that is, is that I, I feel like I'm being slowly attacked by doing these videos. Certain things are happening. Uh, maybe electronics not work. Maybe... I, I can't get to the video on the days that I usually do it because something else is happening. Um, and I also feel like the the more I go into like trying, when I went to the Bible this week and was reading it and was trying to figure out what to do, I just felt like kind of lethargic about it. Like, I don't, yeah, I don't know. And maybe, maybe that's because I talked about in my last video or one of my last videos is just listen instead of trying to always do something to maybe you just need to listen maybe you just need to talk you just need to get something out of the way and that's what I'm doing now um, I'm talking about my week I'm talking about how sometimes I feel like I'm doing something and then I slowly start to fade away from it not because it's, you know, not because I've been doing it for a while and I'm just kind of giving up on it, but because I think my mind's trying to be converted, in, you know, into something else, like prompted to look at something else and try something else. And I don't believe that that's the right person doing that. So today, you know, have you ever felt that way? You can leave comments below on it. Um... And you could also you could also say yeah I felt that way or you can give a description about a time that you felt really like the Lord wanted you to do something and as you started to do what you thought He wanted you to do, you felt like you were being pulled away from it. So was that um, was that God saying no no don't do this or was that Satan saying no 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 don't do this for two different reasons saying the same thing but for two different reasons. But I but I believe that my reason is. I'm being under attack because I still believe that I'm, I'm, you know, I'm urged by the Holy Spirit to do these videos and to get these messages out there and exactly what I'm doing today. Today in my location is very, very beautiful. It's sunny and I believe it's, let me see if I got something on my watch here. I don't know if I got some kind of a Okay, it says it's loading weather. It's 88 and sunny. All right, so it's 88 and sunny today and with a, with a slight humidity. So the breeze is really nice, but the humidity is up. And my face is probably red because I'm in my car. I got the windows down. But um, down to, you know, I don't want the wind blowing through here making some noise. So you have time to hear me. But yeah, the... I mean, we have to be able to know the difference between, you know, if we're being told to do something by Satan, told to do something by the Lord. Uh, that's very important. Um, 
And it's also very important to just stop and listen. Like iterating what I've said before in the past is very, very important to listen, to stop and listen. A lot of times you don't have to start doing action yet. The main thing that you might be prompted to do is the Holy Spirit is telling you to just listen to what he wants you to listen to. And in all due time, he'll tell you. And, you know, other things like worrying, worrying about stuff all the time is not going to do any, any good. Uh, the verse about how the Lord feeds the birds. So why worry about food and clothes? When, you know, we're way more important than the birds are and the birds get fed. The Lord makes sure that the birds have plenty of food. So there, there'll be a way that we can eat and clothe ourselves. Sometimes we put ourselves in a position and we believe that it has to be a certain way. You know, that I have to eat this or I have to wear this as clothes. When in a different way, it's just, you know, the Lord's going to feed us. Even if it is ramen noodles or, you know, whatever. I, When I was a bachelor, I ate ramen noodles a lot, a whole lot. So I kind of use that as an example, as a, a joke now sometimes. I'm like living the bachelor life, huh? Eating a lot of ramen noodles. And it's just my inside joke. But, um, yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely something that we need to just focus on and listening and not always jumping out and being worried about stuff, worried about where we're going to get our next meal, worried about, and, and I know, I know today's day and age, everything's fast paced. And if you don't really have it now, then you may not have it. I mean, that's, that's what, at least that's what the world is conveying to somebody who watches the world. It's like, if you don't have it now, then you may not have it. So you got to go get it. And a lot of times it's probably better for us to just step back and listen and wait and observe. And I have noticed that when I do that, when I slow down and I take time to think about what I want to say, when I want to say it, what action that I need to do if something needs to be done. When I start thinking about those things, then the outcome then is a lot more better than the outcome would have been if I would have just rushed and made something happen. And that's pretty cool. So that is something that I, you know, when I do these videos, a lot of times it's for me too. I get something out of it too. So every time I do a video, I go back and rewatch it sometimes, uh, maybe a week later, like right before I get to do the next video. And then I, you know, I get something out of that video. It helps me out too. So, you know, like this, you know, I, I relay a message and one person gets something, another person gets something. I believe that the Lord takes the same exact thing and, and let different people get different things out of it. So I truly believe that, you know, and also this, um, this whole thing of COVID is just, it's mind blowing. Even, you know, we're like almost 18 months into it and I'm just, it's, it's mind blowing. I still think it's mind blowing looking at it. Like it, it, you know, I know that, you know, COVID's, we had the black plague. We've had the Spanish flu before. Like I know things have happened in the past. This isn't the first time, uh, but it's the first time I've lived through a pandemic. And, you know, I can say that. And it's definitely weirded me out with all the masks. And now that things are open and I'm walking around and I see people, freely walking around and and even now when the, the uh allergies are, are are you know really bad in this area and there's a lot of people that has allergies so when that happens and they get to the point where they start sneezing and coughing because of allergies <laughs> my my whole you know anxiety level in my head just kind of raises to a whole new level like what you know i hear someone coughing and hacking and sneezing and um but I'm also reminded by doing the video not to worry about it. Just, you know, make sure that I'm not doing it. Make sure that I help others that need help. Instead of worrying about it, why don't I help it? 
if they need a glass of water, if they, you know, if they're choking, it might be something more than just allergies or COVID. They might be choking on something or, you know, might be starting to have a heat stroke or something and make sure they get a cup of water or something. Move them into a shaded area or indoors with the heat out now. Like, you know, there's stuff that goes beyond that that I need to focus on and that's hard to do sometimes. Well, thank you for listening. I wanted to just, you know, talk about my week and, and, and hope that, you know, talk about my week, talk about some things that I've talked about in the past. And hopefully I said something that helps you. And again, if you like what I've done in these videos, please don't forget to like and also hit the bell button so you can get notified when I come out with new content, usually once a week. Um, mostly once a week. I would say mostly once a week. That's what I'm aiming for until I'm, until I believe that I'm being told not to do it or to do it more. Well, then I'll let you know what I believe I'm being told. But right now I'd still believe that it's the once a week, once a week. And until next week, please look up and be positive. Love one another. Bye-bye.